Mm, in this world, I don't have any family. Just I'm lonely, and I'm I'm worried of how to continue my generation. And I don't know what to do. I don't have to plan anymore because uh, everybody's confused what to do. What 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 will be happen, happen tomorrow? After tomorrow, every everybody think, is thinking about today. How will we survive today? You can see everybody is running for survival. And it's a little bit hard to, to explain our my plan. This is our we are trying to fix our new apartment. They ask me to fill forms about refugee status and I fill one form and it's uh, I'm waiting for three interviews to get one refugee status. Maybe two, three, four, five, six months, I don't know. A lot of people is trying to go back to to Libya to flank the to to cross the Mediterranean Sea to to reach Lampedusa to get a better life. Moi, je suis parmi la famille des mineurs en Somalie là. Alors là, on a tué mon père et puis au moment qu'on a tué mon père, nous et ma famille aussi, on a quitté ensemble. Et jusqu'à présent, même ma famille ne sont pas en Somalie. Ils sont en Éthiopie. Moi et ma femme, on s'est mariés en Libye. Et puis on est venus à Choucha ensemble, au moment qu'il y a eu la guerre en Libye. Ainsi du sud, ma femme elle était enceinte de trois mois. Et d'un seul coup, elle a décidé de retourner à Libye. Elle a pris un bateau pour rentrer. Elle a tenté de rentrer à l'Europe, en Italie. Mais elle était morte dans la mer avec deux autres Somaliens. Je suis désolé, mais elle ne m'avait rien dit au moment qu'elle quittait aussi. Elle ne m'avait rien prévu. They feel completely lost. They don't feel that they have the support that uh, the international community uh, should give to them. They don't know what their future will be, be like. A lot of the, the people, as I said, were coming from Somalia, Ethiopia, Sudan. Uh, and, and so these, these are already con countries in conflict. So uh, they, they're already leaving the country with a trauma that they've experienced at the psychological level and in some cases also at the physical level. They cross into Libya. In Libya, they go into the this sort of uh, detention center where a lot of people get tortured, so that ag aggravates their sense of uh, mental condition. Arriving in Tunisia, hoping that the international community uh, would help them out, and instead they are arriving in, in a camp where there are a basic la a lack of facilities, so that the, the people don't know what, what to do. Here we are. Our life is at a risk here. Nobody is coming for us. You and who is the father of the nation? Is, is not doing his best. We are suffering terribly here. Everywhere is blocked. People are running away from the camp. More than 250 people since the crisis started have gone back to Libya. I myself, as you see me here, I'm planning to go back to Libya. It's better for me to die once than to be here and die slowly. <laughs> 